My name is Stephen Carver, owner and operator of Barisco Coffee. Um, we've been in production for a couple weeks now. The idea came behind just simply a barista on the go. So that's where the name came from, Barisco. I want to target foot traffic. I want to be where the people are and where people want coffee. And I want to be convenient. And so what I did was I set out, I bought an ice cream truck, I gutted it completely, and then rebuilt. Yeah. During the entire build of this truck, there were so many different critical decisions that I, that I made and that really played a, a, big, a big part in the way that this is now. The overall image of this truck came from patience, you know, it came from determination, and it came from self-motivation because I, I had to push myself. No one else was there to push me. I knew that if I didn't do it, that my dream wouldn't be my dream. Most popular drink, we would probably have to say are blended espressos, and then the number two would be smoothie. Number three would probably be chai tea. And uh, basically all I do is I'll get everything together with the ice, and then I'll put in the syrup, and then I'll add the concentrated ice cold brew espresso. Two shots to every, every drink. We've got one size for our ice drinks. It's a 16 ounce. Try to keep it simple. I'll just add a little bit of cream base on top of that. And then blend. The most popular flavor would have to be the caramel. It is a caramel frappe style. the food truck industry. Um, I, I think that I stand out because I, I don't really have food on my truck. I have pastries, they're snacks, but the reason I feel like I stand out the most from any other food truck is the fact that we have coffee. You know, I just, I really want to be able to provide something to the people, for the people, from the people. You know, like, we're locally owned, locally operated. I source all of my things locally. The idea behind our, our pastry line is, is to keep it simple, keep it local. And so what we've done is we've sourced local bakeries and uh, we've got a selection of those. And so what we'll do is we'll just get those bakeries on a daily. Uh, we'll get those either in the morning, first thing in the morning, or we'll get them before the event. We've got a small route that we have downtown and that would include Kirkwood, but it also includes 7th Street. It includes College by the Justice Building and Smallwood and then it includes um, a few other places on 4th and 6th Street. So when, when we say we're on our route, our downtown route, those are the, 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 the main locations that we go for. But to operate in Bloomington with the restrictions, we are, we are restricted to metered parking in the public right of way. And so we can't guarantee a spot. The spot's up for anyone. That's why we've established a downtown route because we could be in various locations within that route. And then we also go from businesses to businesses and we cater to their break times. We also do events. So, two and a half weeks and we're doing really well. I would just inspire those that, that have a dream to not only think about it, but to materialize it. Think about materializing that dream in every step that it takes to get to that ultimate goal. Because anyone can do it. Everyone's got a dream. It's just a matter of will.